and welcome to the madness. Today we are going to be reading some Am I the A Holes? Spicy, spicy, spicy wedding edition. So let's get into it. Okay, so am I the a-hole for starting my wedding on time and not waiting for my parents? Okay, so first of all, in the first title alone, no, you are not the a-hole. If they were late, that is on them. That is not on you. Okay, just just from the the title alone. All right, but let's read it and let's just double back and make sure we got every every base here covered i got married on sunday and it was absolutely amazing except for one thing my parents showed up late that's sad i that that makes me sad they knew the ceremony time and my husband and i made it clear to everyone both in the invites and in person that we were going to start exactly at that time sorry i'm late i just don't give a fuck First of all, you've made it very clear. Like, what more can you say there? You've made it extremely clear when the ceremony starts. So you've done the right thing already. The venue cost us a lot of money. We paid for the entire wedding themselves. Weddings are very, very expensive. Give me your fucking money! <laughs> goodbye to your savings. Say goodbye. And we were only able to use it for a limited amount of time. So we wanted to make every minute count. To be fair, I think that's all very valid. You only have it for a certain amount of time. You've told everyone what time to be there. Look, everything's very valid so far. So, so far, no a-hole here in, in my opinion. So the wedding day came. And half an hour before we scheduled to start, my parents still hadn't showed up. Say, hold up, wait a minute, something ain't right. I'm worried that like maybe something happened. I don't know. My husband and I both called them multiple times, but nobody answered. We waited and waited and still heard nothing. Okay. That sucks. I don't know. Like you waited. You waited for as long as possible. You made it very clear when the when the um, ceremony started. I think so far it's just like one of those things that's completely out of your control. Finally, the start time arrived and my parents still weren't there. I was really pissed off at this point. I mean, I would be too. The wedding coordinator asked if I wanted to go ahead and start the wedding. And I said, yes, I, I would have said yes too. Obviously you probably feel that sense of guilt where you want to wait, but at the same time, like you gave everyone such notice. This is your day, not their day, you know? Yeah, yeah, no. All our other guests were already there and we wanted to be considerate of their time. Fair, very valid. My parents showed up 15 minutes later and missed the entire ceremony. Oh. That makes me sad. They showed up and missed her. That, that does make me a little sad. <laughs> it turns out they did leave early, but got rear-ended at a traffic light and had to deal with insurance and police. So something did happen. And again, completely out of your control, completely out of their control. I think it just is one of those unfortunate events that happened. They only have a landline, no cell phones, so they couldn't get in touch with me. And obviously there was no way I could have known this. Facts. If they had no cell phone, only had a landline, you obviously can only, only use your landline when you're at home. I mean, couldn't they have asked to borrow someone's phone? Like if they like talking to police and stuff like that, could they not have like asked? Sorry, I bet like, I feel like this is not your fault. It's not that it's not your fault. They got rear-ended. It's obviously not their fault either, but like, it's not your fault. It's completely out of your control. They couldn't get in contact with you. Again, out of your control. You had no idea what was going on. Again, in my opinion, no a-hole here. I'm still frustrated with them for not making an effort to get to the venue earlier, and they're furious at me for not delaying the wedding 15 minutes so they could be there. Am I the a-hole? The fact that they are furious at you for that blows my mind. I can understand why they're upset. Like, I get it. I do. But at the same time, all of this was out of your control, out of their control. No a-hole. No, you're not. No, no, no. Don't listen to your parents. You're no a-hole. So here's some of the comments. Nah, it sucks they were rear-ended. They made the effort to be there, but life got in the way facts you also couldn't wait forever sure maybe 15 minutes wouldn't be so bad but where do you draw the line very true it's one of those things where you would have never have known how long it would have taken from them to get there after what happened again you didn't know you, you waited 15 minutes and like what if they still weren't there so here's another comment you couldn't have known it was going to be 15 minutes and your parents need at least one cell phone they also could have used the other persons to call you that that's what I was saying before, right? Couldn't have they used someone else's phone to call you or like let someone know? 
From all of the above, I declare you not the a-hole. Am I the a-hole for wearing white to my sister's wedding? Yes! Yes! Instantly, yes. Anyone who wears white to a wedding is instantly an a-hole. Like, I feel like this is common knowledge by now. But let's not be too quick to judge here. And let's read what they have to say. My sister, 32 female, got married a few days ago. And I, 27 female, wore a white shirt and black pants to her wedding. So you're not like wearing a dress. So it's, I guess it's not as bad. Because I guess you could say a lot of the guests would wear like suit with like white shirts. And you know, like most of the men there literally what it says next i just didn't read it yet the dress code for the wedding was formal and women can't wear white but i thought it'd be okay because i wasn't wearing a dress okay 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 i'm seeing where this is going but i can also understand why she's upset but at the same time it's sort of like okay you're not wearing a dress you can't really get confused with being the bride or taking away from her day you know what i mean my sister got really annoyed at me and she hasn't spoken to me much since she said that i stole the attention away from her but i honestly didn't because i didn't stand out at all <sighs> i was wearing a plain shirt and black pants i blended in with other people yeah i think you would have blended in with other people more than you would have been mistaken or taken her attention away from her i didn't mean to upset her though i honestly thought it would be okay in my opinion, not the a-hole. However, it's a it's like if she did ask you to not wear white, I would have just not worn white. I do get how most of the men there do wear like the white tops and stuff like that. So I feel like it's a tricky one. I feel like it, it, this kind of thing should have been a conversation you had with her prior to the wedding rather than just assuming. Assumptions are the worst because they cause so many issues. And everyone knows when you make an assumption, you make an ass out of you. And um, shit. Don't assume, just ask. Then problem would have just been solved. Yeah, no. On to the next. Am I the a-hole for kicking out one of my bridesmaids for showing up in the wrong dress? Okay. So far, kind of an interesting title. Wrong dress. I would be upset, but kicking her out, I don't know. Maybe, maybe kick... Ugh, uh. I don't know. Let's read it. In the country town I live, it's currently winter and we get a fair amount of snow. So my wedding was a winter themed wedding. That's cool. That's really cool. I've never seen the snow. I want to see the snow so bad. The color theme was forest green and gold. Beautiful color choice in my opinion. My dress was obviously white and I chose the color of my bridesmaid's dresses to be forest green as well. Beautiful. Love it. My maid of honor's dress was black and everyone else was to wear gold accessories. I have this friend, we'll call her Kat, that I asked to be one of my bridesmaids. When we went dress shopping and I told them the th color theme I was going for, Kat immediately expressed that she thought forest green... <laughs> forest green was a bad choice. Uh, yeah, okay, we're not gonna talk about what just, just happened, okay? Okay. Okay. She said she thinks it's not a flattering color. Well, I'm sorry, Kat, this is not your wedding. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You zip it now. Thanks. And thought I should choose something different and more girly. It's not your wedding. It's just not. I said no because my wedding was winter themed and I thought the color would go perfect with the theme. 100%. I agree. I totally agree. She suggested a pink, blue, even red. Ew. No. I said no, but thanks for your opinion. She found out my maid of honor's dress was black and asked if she could wear black too. And I said no, only my maid of honor is wearing black. I respect it. I paid for all the dresses. Do you paid for it? This is what you want for your wedding. I respect it. This is all valid so far. Fast forward to the wedding day. Everyone's getting their hair, makeup done, and Kat shows up 30 minutes late. Uh-oh, what has she done? What, what has Kat done? Holding a bag that looked like it had a dress inside. Uh, Kat, like I said, this is not your wedding! Anyway, sorry, excuse me. <laughs> I asked her... What was this for? She told me it was for later on at the reception if she got uncomfortable and wanted to change after the pictures. I was cool with that. Okay, sweet. I like that you're cool about that, to be honest with you. Because like most of the time you see, you know, the bride wear the same dress or like change it a little bit. And then you've got the bridesmaids that always wear the same thing. So the fact that you're cool with it, I respect it. So fast forward, we're all dressed and walking down the stairs because the ceremony is beginning in 30 minutes and we were going to take some pictures before. Cute. Kat is the last person to come down and she's wearing a black dress. No, God, please, no, no. This, this bitch 
had the audacity. At the time, I was preoccupied taking pictures with my parents, but my maid of honor came over to me and made me aware of the situation. This is not something you should have to deal with on your day. This annoys me. I'm annoyed for you. I can, I can feel like the anger right now because it's coming from me as well i confronted cat and asked her what's going on she said she hates her bridesmaid's dress sometimes you just gotta do things you don't want to do like that's just life cat that's just life as the color is ugly and makes her look gross so she's wearing black um no no you're not <laughs> i told her to please go back and change she refused and started walking away from me i said i'm going to ask her one more time and if she doesn't oblige i'm calling security and kicking her out i feel like calling security is very extreme i would have just asked her to leave and that you no longer wanted to like her a part of it but i get it you know she began yelling at me to fuck off so i called security and asked them to escort her out she started making a big scene yelling how i'm such a bitch that i can't force her to wear anything and that i'm a horrible inconsiderate friend um sorry but cat it's not your wedding okay i think you're the inconsiderate one here in my opinion the wedding went on and it was truly amazing so that makes me happy you didn't let her ruin your day and i love that ever since the wedding cat has been blowing up my phone with texts saying some really nasty things and asking for the money back she spent on the black dress uh no no you were told to wear a dress and that dress that you were told to wear was paid for you went out and bought another dress that's on you since it was a waste and she didn't get to wear it wear it somewhere else i had to block her number some of my other bridesmaids have been giving me shit saying that it was a little harsh kicking her out and embarrassing her like that it, yeah kicking her out and calling security on her is a little harsh i don't know it i think it depends on your friendship here and maybe i should give her money back am i the a-hole for kicking her out i don't think you're the a-hole for kicking her out i feel like it could have been handled a little bit differently though but i don't think you're the a-hole not the a-hole it's your wedding facts facts if she didn't want to wear the color that you chose she could have easily politely backed out and said she would love to attend as a guest that is actually a good option that is actually a better option but wasn't comfortable wearing that color you also paid for the dress yeah well uh, why don't you ask for your money back huh why don't you ask for your money back for the dress that she didn't wear for your wedding hmm Turn that shit back on her. That's what I would fucking do. Petty. I'm petty like that. You also paid for the dress, not her. Where many would complain that they are buying a dress they will never wear again. You purchased it. Damn straight. Damn fucking straight. So I conclude, not the a-hole.